That's weather now, and it was absolutely pouring here not long ago. It was, but you know what, Eric? It sounds like the rain that we got today, put that together with Marathon Monday, you're saying that got us up to average, which is always good. Yep, just a, a little above average, so nothing unusual, but certainly a good amount of rainfall after the last few days of sunshine. Nice to have a rainy day. I know not everyone loves the rain, but it'll help us out. It'll be green as Ireland in the next couple of days after this. We have rain totals over an inch in Whitman, Northbridge, Attleboro, about an inch in Hanover, Ted and Bill Ricca, three quarters of an inch of rain. Here's how it looks across the whole region and a lot of spots picking up over an inch over the last 24 hours. Combine that with the warmer temperatures we're seeing and all of a sudden just a spring explosion out there over the next couple of days. We've already seen that starting. So here's a look at the radar tonight. Still some of these scattered tropical down Downpours here and there. Right now, over the Ipswich area and up toward Newburyport, Haverhill, Merrimack, and getting up into Hampton. Quick downpour moving through. Also, some downpours around Hooksett. And we move toward the Cape. Really heavy rainfall around Provincetown, Wellfleet, and Truro at this hour, as well as toward West Barnstable and over into Sandwich. Still, some more scattered downpours overnight tonight. The back edges right about in here, just west of New York City. All that still has to swing through, and so we won't really dry out until late morning tomorrow. Temperatures have not moved. They'll stay right about where they are for the rest of the night. So we'll start the day in the 50s tomorrow. And there'll be some pockets of locally dense fog. So it's a very damp and misty kind of tropical evening out there. So here's a look at the timeline. Still some of these scattered showers and downpours up through tomorrow morning. So walking out the door, you still might want the rain jacket or the umbrella up until about 9 a.m. or so. After that, we start to bring in some drier air and some sunshine, getting much better by lunch. And then the afternoon looks excellent. Bright skies, a little breeze, mild temperatures, really nice second half of the day. So low 50s out the door, still some showers to deal with and some cloud cover. It's getting a little bit more pleasant at midday. The breeze out of the west-southwest at 10 to 20. And then a great afternoon well into the 60s. A chance for a couple towns to hit 70, especially just south of Boston. A place like Taunton might get to that 70-degree mark close in Norwood. 63 in Worcester and Portsmouth up to 65. So things really blooming. And having a little bit of the pollen count drop today. It'll be manageable tomorrow, but very quickly we'll see those pollen counts rebound as we head into the end of the week and the weekend. Now, there is another chance of rain on Friday. Morning looks dry with some sunshine. It's mild again in the 60s. As we head into the afternoon and evening, some scattered rain and showers are likely going to move up across the area. So any Friday night plans, some wet weather to deal with. Saturday, our cold front is slowing down a little bit so that most of the evening rain showers look to be toward western New England. We may not get any rain showers here until after sunset. Makes for a partly sunny, very mild day. High near 71 on Saturday. Sunday, cooler. Most towns will be staying in the 50s, and after this stretch, probably going to feel a little chilly outside. The Red Sox will have to watch the timing and the intensity of those showers on Friday evening. That may lead to a delay at Fenway Park. Looks much better for Saturday into Sunday, and we're still on track for a warm-up next week. It'll be a chilly Monday morning, but after that, we really start to bring in the warmer air for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe lasting into Friday. So it's good to get today's rain a little more on Friday because after that, not many chances in the seven-day. David and Lisa, back to you. All right.